So in my particular season, there were several attorneys on the show. I think there were six six or seven. So if, if just being an attorney is considered an advantage or disadvantage, no, no, I don't consider that to have been, I think my personality probably worked more in favor by that. I mean, the ability to just stay cool and not get involved in the gossip and the, the backstabbing and all that that was going on. Fair enough. Uh, what are your memories of first meeting Donald Trump? Oh, goodness. My memory of first meeting Mr. Trump was standing in the driveway of the mansion on the first day of filming. And ironically enough, there was a contestant on the show who asked if he could, and I have to quote this, he said, Mr. Trump, I have to pee. Can you excuse me? And that is the that is my first memory because Mr. Trump, I was standing to his to his left and he looked right at me. And he looked astonished. And then he looked back and said no to this gentleman who ended up being the first one voted off or fired, I should say. And uh, that was that's actually my first memory of meeting him, him looking astonished, but and realizing that he was so much larger in life than I imagined him being based on having watched him on television. As the show progressed and as The Apprentice, do you ever think you'd win it? I mean, did, were you quite confident in yourself or was it very much sort of we'll see where this goes? Oh, I think that you're so anxiety ridden, at least I was, and we were also sleep deprived. We had, we were the only season that was ever filmed in LA. And we were also the only season that was ever filmed where they tried to turn it into apprentice survivor, where they made us live outside in tents if we lost uh, a task. And so my team was essentially outside for the first four weeks. And I was on the team with just about all guys, except for one girl that was kicked off the team. So it was an interesting situation. I was messy, dirty. My clothes were disgusting. Everything was, um, it was misty and, and cold outside. There were no hot showers. There was no electricity for a good deal of the time. There are no makeup crews and no hair crews. It's reality TV and it's not edited. It's just, there it is. And so um, for me, it was one day at a time. It was, let me just survive today and deal with doing the very best job I can do every day no matter what they throw at me. And, and it all started on the first day when they said pitch a tent and we knew something was going on. So, you know, what can you do in that situation? It's survival skills. Yeah, exactly. I guess uh, with the finale, which was such such a big deal. I mean, I've seen clips of it on YouTube and they had fireworks and everything. Like that. How did it feel to be sort of in the middle of this huge publicity uh, campaign for The Apprentice and winning The Apprentice and how much that's done for your career? When, when you stood there and he said, you've won, you know, how did you feel? I didn't hear him at first. I was blown away. It was James who finally said, it's you, not me. And I, I was shocked. I went to hug James because I just, I didn't hear what Mr. Trump said. And I think I was just really, I think I'm, I'm still blown away by it, but it was a great experience. And it was certainly a lot of fun to be live at the Hollywood bowl with all those people there. And I mean, I've been, in the audience several times to watch performers there, but to actually be on stage and to be able to say hi to all these people who watch the show, that was really humbling and a lot of fun. There's kind of a perception about Donald Trump that he's very much a business man. And we, we, have, we have The Apprentice in the UK and we have Alan Sugar as the guy he's the host and he's uh -huh. perceived as very much a business fan very much grumpy guy and donald trump kind of comes off the same way but i mean you've worked with him you know him is he like that at all he must it must just be for the cameras and when he comes out he's, he's nice or well miss mr trump is a is a very tough businessman both on and off the camera that doesn't just shut off when the show shuts down Certainly, uh, maybe a little of the drama is, is posturing. I don't know. Maybe he had a bad day on the day that he came in to fire some of us. I'm not sure. I can't speak for him because I'm not him, but I can tell you that having worked with him, he is as tough off camera as he is on camera. He's, he didn't get where he is by being a pushover, and he demands excellence of everyone around him. And if you give him anything less, you're gone. And, but he gives you just as much in return. He, he works hard he knows his details and he expects you to know the same do you still work with him I, I know that you oversaw one of his projects or you were vice president of one of his companies i mean do you still have anything to do with him work-wise or have you kind of moved on from that well we have maintained a great relationship um, i did work with him longer than my one-year contract and what i did was i worked as a vp of sales and marketing for 
the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Las Vegas, which was not one of the projects that was part of the show. I, I asked, I campaigned and asked him to put me in that position because it was on the West Coast and I had already done some things for him in the Dominican Republic, which was the project that was part of the show. And so he was good enough to give me, I don't know, extra work, if you'll call it. I'm a little driven. And we had a great time. I mean, I went out there and I worked with the construction crew and got my broker's license to be able to work in Nevada and was able to work with the sales force there. And I learned a lot working with him. And now the current status of our relationship is that he no longer has any more uh, West Coast projects that are close by to where I live that would necessitate a position for me. If he started up a new project, certainly I would entertain you know, an offer to work for him again. Uh, in one capacity or another. And in the meantime, we do charitable events together and pick on each other on the golf course. Uh, Another question I've got for you is, I mean, when you won The Apprentice, how much has your career changed? Well, I think it took a 180 degree turn, um, not necessarily up or down, just laterally. I was 